appropriate, right? Chuck a course in Colorado before you get on a snowmobile. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Pat Outdoors. This week we are in the beautiful state of Colorado. I got a little impatient waiting for snow to come in Virginia. So I went ahead and flew out here with my buddy Pat and uh, we rented some snowmobiles and we're out to have some fun today. Stay tuned. Doing a little case study on how these things work for some inspiration for the snow bike. You ever ridden one of these, Pat? First time. Things about to blast by. What you think, Pat? It's great. You enjoying these 552 strokes? Slow motion understeer. This time, grab the ski. We're trying to go this way. I'm gonna push and use the throttle. Okay. okay. Oh, I'll just hold that out of the way. Gather on three. You ready? One, two. this yep all the shiny stuff you see all pools gold trying to get rich i used to have a big hide of rock up here i found a chunk of pools gold that was about this big and some of the other mines <laughs>
you think, Pat? It was great. Definitely want to do it again. Yeah, definitely a must do. If you're out here in Colorado, it was like not even $300 for a three hour guided tour. You get some uh, two stroke 550cc snow slats by um, Polaris. It's pretty quick. Kind of sad that I didn't get to pop out. I mean, it's got plenty of juice and I'm sure we went at least 40, 50 at some point, but there's no speedometer to confirm that. So it's hard to tell, but I definitely learned a lot today as far as skis and how it reacts uh, on camper turns or off camper turns with a snow ski. So that gives me a better idea what kind of changes I got to make to my little Razor MX500 snow bike setup. If you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor and hit that like button. If you like this kind of content, want to keep up with some of uh, my outdoor adventures or some, or some of my builds, consider subscribing to this channel. But this is going to be it for today. Thank you for watching.